Okay, so let's start using Market Samurai to generate some keywords and do our keyword research. First thing we do is click New Project, and then I'm going to enter a keyword in the box. Today, the keyword that I want to use is running shoes, and I'll just tab out of that. And as you can see, it's generated the project for us. The next thing I need to do is select the country that I wish to target, and in today's example, it's going to be the United States, and then all I need to do is click Create. This then takes us across to the Market Samurai dashboard. And we've got a number of options here, but for today's screencast, we're only interested in keyword research. And this brings us across into the keyword research module. Again, as you can see, there's a number of options here, um, and we'll go through them in a second once we've got a, key, a set of keywords because it just makes it a lot easier to understand and you can actually see the filtering working. So right now, what I'm going to do is going to click Generate Keywords. And this goes off and it'll build a list of keywords for us. Uh, this process can take a little bit of time, so I'm just going to pause the video here, and I'll see you across in a second when we've got the keyword set. Also, now that we've got our results, we can begin to understand what everything does, and you can see how the filtering works. So the first thing that I normally do with a keyword research project is I like to add some positive keywords. These are words that I want to appear in my, in my results set, and these are ones that normally I use to build the site around so it makes sense for them to appear in there. Uh, so using the example of running shoes, what I'll do is I'll add running shoes as a term and then I'll click update. You can see just by adding the term running shoes as a positive keyword, we've actually removed 118 terms from the list. So the next thing I like to do is add some negative keywords and these have the same effect but only work in the opposite way. These are terms that I don't want to appear in my search list. Um, normally these include things like free, how, where, why and it's really the kind of traffic that doesn't convert into sales and through kind of a process of trial and error I've realized that these terms I really just don't want them in there because I don't really want to waste my time with them so let's add a handful of those now. And then let's click update. So we've removed another six. The final thing that I like to do is I like to go through my results set and see if there's any opportunities there to remove other terms. So let's just take a quick look. And as you can see, there's quite an extensive list of terms here. I mean, we've got the word dog, which not really applicable to my site. So what I like to do is, if you click on the word dog, and then click on the X, you can see that's actually removed another result. Let's just keep going through. As you can see, there's some good keywords here. And again, we've got another one for dogs. This time it's plural. So with Market Samurai, you have to add singular and plural as two different negative keywords. So we'll click dogs and we'll just go across and click off that. Finally, we'll just complete the initial look through. Okay, so we've got two more. We've got warehouse. I don't really want that in there, so I'll click on the term warehouse, X off that. We've got wholesale as well, which the site that we're going to be building, even if we do include some kind of e-commerce element, it's not going to be wholesale. So let's remove that term. Okay, I think we're pretty complete now. Yeah, I think we're good. I'll just scroll back up. I think I saw another term that I don't really want. Don't really want the term used in there today. So I'll click on that and let's filter it out. Okay, so we're complete. So the only thing left to do is filter out all those singular terms that we don't really want in there. Now, normally adding a positive keyword, especially when it's two words, does a good job of removing this because any kind of one word terms tend to get filtered out. So we're only left with the shortest term that we're going to have there is going to be running shoes, but I like to do it just in case. Now, if we click keyword analysis, we jump through to the next screen that you can see. 
depending on the version of Market Samurai that you're running. This may look a little different, but what I like to do is to remove all the filters, a lot of the, um, the data that we're seeing down here. For example, phrase to broad match. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, I, sorry, I do understand what it is, but I don't understand why it's useful because when we do our keyword research, we're only seeing the exact term there. So there's no relevance there. And again, I'm not a big fan of the trends. Some people like it. It's not for me. So we'll just go through and we'll just clean this up now. I like keeping local SEO traffic in here. Uh, what this is, is it's a rough estimate of the kind of amount of traffic that you'd get if you ranked number one for this keyword. Uh, I think Market Samurai used the 42% formula, so you get 42% of the traffic that, of the total traffic there. Uh, I find it's quite useful for getting a good overview, but some people don't like it. So if you're not a big fan of it, feel free to remove it. So let's remove phrase to broad match, trends, AdWords CPC. And again, I'm not really a fan of the AdWords value and the SEO value, while it can show some good numbers, they're sometimes misleading, so I like to remove it. Next, we need to change the match type to exact. We need to change the period to monthly. Now, this is just my personal preference because it tends to generate a wider overview. And if the filters are on, we just need to select no filters. So as you can see, we've really cleaned up this area down here. So all that's left for us to do is to hit analyze keywords and this will go off and it'll do the research part of Market Samurai. This can take some time, as you can see we're up to 4%. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'll see you back when we've actually got some data. Okay, so we have our results set now and we can begin to run some, some of our own filters on there to pick out those keywords that we think that we've got an opportunity to rank for and ones where we can make some money from. Okay, so the first thing that I normally like to do is filter by SEO competition. Again, based on experience, I found that 200,000 provides a good number for this. So I'll just put 200,000 in there. And as you can see, this has just filtered out 40 results. And the next thing that I like to do is to filter by local SEO traffic. So I know that even on my worst performing sites, I can convert at about half a percent. So that means that every month we need 200 visitors for ranking number one, and we're gonna be guaranteed at least one sale. And if we get more, then it's a huge bonus. So I'll put in 200. And this is filled out a whole stack more. And now I like to order by SEO traffic. And as you can see, we've got a fairly complete result set now. So if we take a quick look through these terms again, I can see there's some good good opportunity in here to build a site around the term running shoes. Um, we've obviously got terms like ASICs running shoes for men, which there's 9,000 or so competing sites, and there's 302 uh, visitors we might expect for ranking number one for that term, uh, converting a kind of 0.5 conversion rate, we might get a sale, maybe two sales every month. And based on kind of my experience of working in similar sectors, we might expect to make maybe $12 per sale. So you can see that this is a term just on its own that's worthwhile and will get you earning. But then if we just look down the list further, we've got other terms in there. So we've got Brooks running shoes for women. Again, similar type of term, similar competition. And again, it's going to bring in similar money. So there's $24 for ranking number one through this site. Believe me when I tell you that 31,000 results isn't an awful lot. Going further up, sketches. I mean, I'm not sure what the, the average price of a pair of sketches is, but the commission that we could make from Amazon or from any other of the sports uh, shoe affiliates would be quite good for that term. We go back to the top again. It is an awesome term, lightest running shoes. I mean, you could build a whole site around this. And if you get two, two sales every month, maybe four if you're lucky, then that's really going to give you the foundation to build a business on. And that's something that you can actually build a site and then you can take it from there and then you can grow it. And while if we look at the top, the term running shoes might be tempting, there's just far too much competition for that term. What we can do is we can use what they call the long tail, which is 
all the terms that are below that in the kind of number of keywords in the uh, phrase. And we can use that to, to actually get more traffic than we'd get if we ranked number one for the term running shoes. And in a lot of cases, there's actually a higher conversion percentage because you're actually showing people exactly what they want. If someone comes to your site looking for, say, um, best uh, best women's running shoes and you show them a list or you show them some reviews based on that they're going to convert a lot better than if they just come looking for the generic running shoe terms so we just go through one more time making sure we're looking good and that's really it that's all there is to this part of the keyword research phrase uh, phase we've set some filters we want 200 uh, searches every month We've set the competition. We don't want to compete if there's over 200,000 results for that keyword. And we've made sure we're on exact match. So we're seeing exactly how much traffic's there. Set it for a monthly period because we want to see how much is a month so we can start planning if it's really worth spending the time doing that. And then we've also got our results set. So in the next video, we're going to look at how to see if the competition in the search engines is there using this SEO competition module and we'll probably dig down on a couple of other terms. That's it. If you haven't already grabbed your copy of Market Samurai you can download a free unrestricted trial uh, and you can do that using the link below. Uh, full disclosure it's an affiliate link but I really really appreciate you buying or just downloading through this link because it helps us keep these screencasts going. Well thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.